How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the complete beginner's guide here in Fishing Planet. In today's episode, we are going to be catching all the different types of fish here at Blue Crab Island. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to the streams, I've been grinding here a lot. So we do have some of the fish caught already, but we still need to go through the missions here and get everything done. So we are at Blue Crab and this is what I'm going to be bringing. I do have carp rods because I'm going to be doing all of the Europe Lake soon. And there's a lot of carp there and I'm preparing to go farm at Weeping Willow. So that's why I have those. You do have four heavy chasers. Just bring those and that'll get the job done quickly as well. We're going to be going with number eight hooks here to start off. That way we can go after some of the panfish. And then we do have our spinning setup here. These are the hook sizes I am bringing. So a bunch of different stuff here. Nothing too crazy. You guys should have the space to bring all this. And then here are the baits I'm bringing. Don't worry too much about the carp baits. Obviously, you don't really need them here at Blue Crab. So you can go ahead and not bring those. But everything else is just a nice mix. And you guys are higher level now that we're at Blue Crab. You can afford to buy all these baits. And you have the backpack capacity to bring all this stuff. For lures, I just got a nice mix of some poppers, topwater stuff, some bass jigs. We got some spinners and stuff like that. That's all we're pretty much going to use here and should be good to go. So I'm over at the other dock spawn, not the original one, but the little platform spawn. It's just uh, the second spawn point right over here. And I just cast it out towards the shore there. Got night crawlers, number one hook, and we caught the, uh, the catfish there. So that's one of them we need to get done. I'm just going to keep fishing here because it seems to uh, be a half decent spot. So I'm still just on the platform. I just turned around and casted right in front of the dock here and grabbed the golden shiner. So I was just casting over there and getting a lot of catfish. So I'm just going to keep going around this platform, basically trying to find different fish here. And that's kind of all I've been doing so far. It's taking a while to find these panfish. This map is absolutely huge, and I'm sure there's probably a thousand areas to catch these. But I'm really just going around looking because I never did these missions on my main account. I just skip them because there's no need to really do them at this level unless you're specifically looking for them i keep getting these big uh big mouth buffaloes here so if you're looking for those this is a good spot for them so far especially on these night crawlers but i'm just going to keep fishing here it seems to be going pretty well so far hopefully we can grab some other fish and there we go we actually grabbed the warm out from that spot we just need the oscar and the red ear sunfish and then we are good to go went to some wax worms same hook size same spot and we grabbed the oscar we just need that red ear sunfish and then we are good to go if you're looking for the red ear sunfish come to the bass spot now this spot might look familiar if you guys do a lot of bass fishing here that's because normally i actually stop around here for bass and aim towards the other corner you can see i got my bass marker right there for where i normally stop but it's just right there in this corner and i just cast it into the middle here used crickets on the number eight hook shout out to the guy in the blue crab chat who actually showed me this spot because i was having a tough time with this one it was uh taking me absolutely forever to catch this fish so if you're having a tough time come here give this a shot i was using crickets number eight hook and yeah it was just right over in this area guys you do need a bow and you need to travel a little bit but it is way up here i'm back at the platform in the middle of the water we did grab a bow fin here now you can grab bowfin guys even when you're bass fishing if you see my bass fishing video you know you can get lots of gar and lots of bowfin when you're bass fishing so you don't necessarily need to target them but if you are uh i'm assuming you can just go in this area here where i bass fish and go with some large minnows and probably end up getting some gar and bowfin as well but i just cast it out here uh this platform has been working very very well in terms of getting a lot of different types of fish so i'll set a marker just so you guys kind of have an idea of where to go but it's literally just directly in front of me here and i just kind of have rod set up all over the place we're using the 40x series hooks as well some medium cut bait i figured the medium cut bait would be pretty good to go after um, a bunch of different fish here because we're looking for the catfish we're looking for the gar we were looking for the bowfin so there's a quite a few different fish we we're trying to catch here we got another bowfin though. For the gap topsail catfish, just come back to the boat spawn and come on over to the side of the dock here. I'm just right over here casting in this general area here. You can also get them at the uh, the drum spot where you have to go to the shore out way over there. Uh, you get those sometimes even on 8-0 hooks, but right there is a good spot for them. You should be able to grab one there. I'm back at the platform in the middle of the water and we did grab the channel catfish in this same spot. So I got them all casted out, kind of just in this area right here so let me set a marker just so you guys kind of have an idea of where i'm going here but it's pretty much just in this area right here there's not much to it i'm just casting right here and getting them i need to get that gar now so i think i'm going to throw on a popper and just cast over here and then if we can't catch it here i will just go to the bass spot and i know i'll get get one eventually so not a big deal we should be able to grab one from one of these locations just went to the bass area like normal ended up using a walker and grabbed a gar i did catch a couple bass but i'll show you guys exactly what spot i'm in i'm just down at the the main curve kind of where we caught the ready or sunfish so it's just down here 
in this area right up at the top so yeah there you go just on the map just up in the top right hand corner here for the long nose gar for the flounder just come on down to the main tarpon spot you can just cast along these trees here or you can cast anywhere along the boat and you should be able to get one i was just using medium cut bait and i was using my barbless uh four odd x series hooks here we are done with the exploration part number two and we can finally move on to the trial for the striped bass i just used a medium spoon i do have some shiners with four odd hooks on these rods here but i'm just back at the boat spawn just come across the dock and just fish around in this area right here normally you drive through here in the boat but you can grab some striped bass here and that's all we got to do now we just got to head out and do some bass fishing so we're just going to go do normal bass fishing like i always do in my other videos so if you don't know how to do bass fishing all you got to do is literally just go in the uh this area over here with all these bushes and just use bass jig or a top water lure and you should be good to go but if you have seen the bass video you know where to get bass here and that's all you're going to do is just fish for bass until you get the three different types of bass you need. I'm at my first spot where I normally stop when I go bass fishing. And we got a unique largemouth in this area right here. Let me just show you on the map where I'm fishing right now and what path I'm going to take. So I'm just at this area right here and I'm going to take my normal bass path all the way up. I should be able to catch the different types of species before then. We just need the butterfly, peacock, and the speckled and then we're good to go. I'm going to keep fishing here because I don't care if I get a unique or anything right now. Uh, we just want to get the challenges done so we're just going to try and get this over with as soon as possible i'm just going to keep fishing here and hopefully we get the different types of bass nice and quickly that one looks like a shoal bass oh no that's just a regular largemouth so we still need the two peacock basses but we will get it so just keep on fishing and eventually you'll get the different type there's the speckled peacock bass same spot i just fast forwarded the next day we just need the butterfly and then we are good to go and we are done with the uh, first part of this trial mission here. And there we go. We grabbed the butterfly peacock bass. Nice and easy to grab these bass. It shouldn't take you too long unless you get really unlucky grabbing a specific type. I grabbed the tarpon just off the dock while I was going for the bone fish. You can either fish in this spot or fish in the ashore spot that everyone always goes to over here in the corner. And you should be able to grab all the different types of fish in either of these areas. Now I have caught bone fish and stuff in both these areas. I'm just waiting to get another one. But these two spots are really the best area for this last little section here. I was just using my spinner with a tail off the dock here and got the trophy bonefish. So it is very possible, guys, to, to get this done from the dock here. I'll set a marker just so you guys kind of have an idea of where I was casting for this. But that's all I was doing was using my spinner and just casting out to there and doing stop and go middle of the column. Also, on my bottom rods here, I do have different baits. I got shrimp and dragonflies both with one out hooks because they do like those kind of baits and i was specifically targeting the bonefish because it's something that i don't try to catch normally but sometimes you do get them when you're going after the bigger fish and farming but i've never specifically tried to target them so there you go that's how i ended up getting them so there's some shrimp on a one out and then also the spinner with the tail now for the common snook the red drum and the permit we are going to fish more off the dock here if we don't get one we are going to go to the other spot but basically, all you got to do now is go to dot hooks, and I'm going to throw on some large minnows and just go to town, and we should be able to grab the rest of these fish. Now, obviously, if you're going for XP farming, you're going to want to put on some bigger hooks than I am right now, but I want to get this out of the way. So what we're going to do here is just cast over towards a couple of these uh, little sticks, and we are going to try and catch the rest of these fish here. Now, the tarpon we already do have. So that's not too hard. You can get those all over the place. It's really not hard to grab these fish. But I'm going to cast these sticks here. And then if I can't catch anything, we'll go to the other spot. But generally, this should get the trick done. Large middles, four out hooks. Uh, you can change baits if you'd like, but you should be able to grab these last couple fish. Threw on my casting spoon to get this done quicker. And first cast, got the common snook. So now we're just down to the red drum and the permit. And then we should be good to go and done with blue crab. But since this is the all fish caught series, we are going to go ahead and catch the new species they added uh, somewhat recently to this map. I don't believe there is a mission for them yet. So we're going to have to go catch those. But I don't believe there is a mission for them yet. Came on over to the ashore spot and the first fish we grabbed was a permit. And now we just need that red drum and we are good to go. And we can finish this off here. This looks like it could be a decent fish. And there we go. Actually, that's the red drum right there. Perfect. We'll go ahead and take that. We are now done with the saltwater challenges. Let's see if there is missions. I honestly don't know if there is missions for the new fish. I don't know if they went ahead and added that. Doesn't look like they did. You should be able to get black drums either off the dock or in this spot. Just cast a little bit further out. You can see I got a marker way out there. I just did a full cast all the way out there. 
with my bottom rod and that should get the job done you can get them in close though i just know if you are trying to target them a little bit more and you specifically want to catch them cast a little bit further out to where i got that marker i will show you on the map here once i get this brought in but there's a little like uh sand trap a uh, sand platform whatever you want to call it sitting there and i kind of cast out near there and that's generally where i get the black drum from but you can get them in close too but specifically i have found you get them a little bit further out there so if you're looking for the black drum there you go uh, this is going to be a striped bass you can get these out here too if you cast a little bit further uh out to that marker there i was just casting out to this marker right here just by this little sand barge thing right there and you should be good to go to catch the black drum for the big mouth buffalo i'm over at the water platform again using night crawlers and a number one odd hook and i did catch the big mouth buffalo i actually caught this thing when i was looking for the other panfish earlier on so obviously with this you will get some of the other fish I'm not sure what hook size you want to go for like the big unis because I've never really went after them but that's where I caught the big mouth buffalo so I'm assuming if you just go into the baits and I don't know throw on some semolina balls or dough balls or marshmallows or something or technoplankton or something with a bigger hook size you should be able to grab the unis now for the American gizzard chat I did catch one right here so I'm going to give it a shot again right here with some blood worms but uh there's probably a better spot there's probably a better spot, but I did catch one earlier here when I was going after the other fish. For the American Gizzard Chad, just cast over towards the trees from the dock area here. So this is right where the boat spawns and kind of where we caught the gaff topsail catfish. Just over in that area should be okay. And I did actually catch another one off the uh, floating platform where I caught a lot of the other fish. So it really just depends on the luck, but I did catch the majority of them over in this area here. Forgot to show you guys the bluegill, but you can grab this little guy pretty much everywhere, but I did grab him over at the floating platform. Same spot, we caught all these other fish. I was using maggots, red worms work, and a couple other things work, but it just really depends. You don't even need to catch him. So if you're not really interested in catching all the fish, it doesn't really matter. Now we just got the shoal bass. You can actually probably catch it over here as well, but I'm gonna go back to the bass spot just cause that's where I normally fish for bass anyways. And that's where we're going to go ahead and catch the shoal bass. Uh, it's just luck of the draw like everything else. And it will take a while, but just keep fishing and eventually you'll get the shoal bass. And then you are good to go to leave blue crab. Went back to the first bass spot I was at earlier and got a unique shoal bass. Actually, the first fish I got was a unique shoal bass. So you can get them all over the place here, guys. And that is every single fish here at blue crab. There is a lot of different species. And it's honestly one of the coolest locations in the game. There's a ton of different species. They added new ones somewhat recently after the map came out. But make sure when you guys are here to explore this back area here. There's no spawn point back there. But there's a lot of cool fishing areas back there. And a lot of people don't explore it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're looking for any of the farming locations, I do have multiple videos already on this lake. More dedicated to showing the farming locations, going after unique tarpon, going after unique drum and all that. So make sure to search up my videos on that. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.